Okay, we're going to do some partner acro today. Things that you can do in a room with the low roof. And you will need a partner today. Um, the things are, some are easier and some are quite difficult. For the most difficult ones, we'll also use a pull-up bar. Um, if you don't have a pull-up bar, you can just use a wall to hold on to. But we start with some easier stuff. The two first exercises are from Lux. Um, super great exercises that we got from Israel Acro Mini Online Convention, um, which apparently, at least to that class, none of you got to join, so we thought to share our favorites from there as well. Yeah, because there are some great ones in there. Yes, so thanks, Lux. Yeah. And first, starting in a bird. We're going to walk our plank. Ooh, I got dirty feet. You can footprints down your flyer. Footprints back up your flyer. So that's the classic one. Then what we'll do, he gets onto the shins and we're going to do straddle, tuck, and back to straight. Straddle. Straight, do a few of those. Make sure you're controlling your arms. Arms are going to help your flyer. Oh yes. Stay on top of you. So bases, don't let your arms drift over your head. <laughs> bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> so none of that, please. And back to straight, and then you walk back to your bed. And then you come down. So try that one. Then we also have side plank rotations. <laughs> Cleaning our floor is not one thing we're doing while we're in quarantine. <laughs> Unfortunately, not enough. Okay. So next we're going to do some side planks. So we have one foot in the armpit. The other foot is just under the hip. It's going to be like a side star position. But it's hard to get to until she comes in a little bit. So I can lean in, and then we test out some rotations there in the next one. So I rotate to both directions. As far as you can. And then you can start playing around with leaving and leading the flyer to different spots. Coming in from different spots. Doing rotations as a flyer, you can also continue the rotation. And change sides. Come in from different spots. How far can you rotate? Where can you enter from? And so forth. So, rotations in side plank, which is side star with an extra foot in the armpit. So, we're going to do some calibrations and movement exploration in star. Um, firstly, to get into star, you can make it as hard or as easy for yourself as you want. The easiest version is where the flyer jumps and the base bends their leg and receives the flyer in. Keeping the base's arm straight. Cool. And then you can start making this harder for yourself by pressing more and more. So the base bends their legs less or doesn't bend their legs at all. Yeah, and the flyer either jumps less and presses more. Yeah. Press it, press it, press it, press it. There we go. So that was fully pressing but the base was still bending their legs. So an ultimate of that would be me just pressing and Jared not bending his legs at all, but that's really hard. Let's show what that looks like. <laughs> you can do it. Okay, that's how that looks like. That's how that looks. 
So then we're going to do some calibrations and movement exploration in stars. So we're going to do some rotations. So first just the flyer rotates their legs. So I get into a straddle pike and then I rotate my legs. And then on the next one, the base can accelerate that. So a cat will start and then I will finish the movement. Woo Again, cat starts and I finish the movement. So you can get quite far when you both yeah. move the rotation. Be careful, do it slow, it goes out of control <laughs> quite easily. Then we'll do a little bit of mono shoulder stand or mono star work in here. So the easiest way for us to do a mono star is to um, place the base's foot on the flyer's wrist. So let's go to the sand. And now this we have done with the people in our class, but I challenge you now to actually start moving here. So try to go, for example, from your straddle pike to big split. So I'm opening my pike. And the hardest one you can even try to go to legs together. And I'm really trying to keep that pressure on my wrist really even on the wrist that's on the base of the foot really even and light. And you can even try to tuck in here. Tuck is probably the hardest one. Yeah. Coming back the same way. Cool. And for evenness do both sides. Open straddle. Straight. Tuck if you can. It's definitely the hardest. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, moving slowly, no abrupt movements. Mm -hmm. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. So move as slow as I did on the first side. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Nice. Okay, so next we'll do some levers, also called dragon flags. Um, you can do it with the hand to hand grip or if you do it here, grab really firmly, or you can grab the wrists and the base can bend their legs a little bit. I have to bend a little bit in order to grab her wrists. So I'm going to do a small one first and I'm going to stag a leg to make it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to lever and come back. Nice. A little bit bigger. Nice. So the base is helping here, which feels really nice. You want to say what you do? So as she goes down, I put my heels more towards um, the top of her back. So as she's coming down, I have more the ball of my foot on the shoulders at the moment. She's coming down, and then now I feel my full foot in contact. And coming back up. And that feels really nice. Then if you want, a challenge, you can try to tap your couch or even the floor. Tap the couch or the floor any way possible, the base is going to help. Okay. Woo! Good job. So that's a challenge for you guys all this there. Alright, some foot to hand. So first we want to get to extend the foot to hand. Mm -hmm. So you can press up there or you can use the feet to get up. How do you want to go up this time? Uh, let's walk up. Alright. Then here, um, flyers do a few squats. So this is the easier variation and then a challenge if you are very comfortable with foot turned 
is to shift a little bit in the squat to one and straighten the leg and come back. Doing that on both sides. Nice. Do you take your arm straight away to the side? Yeah. Okay, I'm also taking my leg, I feel like, straight away to the side. And these arms really help for the balance. Um, if you do have a third friend, you can use a spotter. If you don't, you can also use a couch or something behind you so that if you would end up falling backwards, then you have something soft there. So we could do it here. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> okay. yeah. So I got surprised there. <laughs> so yeah, if you use a couch behind. And even if you get surprised, um, you'll actually land pretty softly. Mm -hmm. It's never a perfect system. I might drop her on my face, and the couch is not above my face. <laughs> so steer your flyer towards the couch when you're falling. Mm -hmm. And just be careful. Do, do this at your own risk and at your own pace. Yes. If you're not there, don't do it. So the next one we're going to need a pull-up bar or something higher to hold on to. Mm -hmm. uh, your something high has to be fixed well, so if the flyer falls, the flyer takes their entire body weight onto the object. If you don't have a pull-up bar, you could also use just the wall to hold on to. Um, but then because you can't grab the wall, I recommend on top of having that wall in front of you to have a couch or a mattress, your bed mattress, something soft behind you. Uh, if you have a pull-up bar, that's all you need. Climbing up into too high, flyer taking the object, shuffling into foot to hand. First we're going to walk up to high. And then back down. Nice. Walking up to high. So all my weight is on the leg that is not moving. When we're up here in a squat, we could also shift onto one foot and take the other leg out to the side. Shift onto one foot, leg out to the side. Okay. As a flyer, down. I'm always ready to come down. Cool.